Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Monacy again. Um, we're doing our Monacy at home live break um, daily. Um, like we've said before, this is for practice and uh, figure we'll have fun. Tomorrow, I believe um, Chase the Cardboard is going to have us do uh, some breaks too. Hey, Rare. How's it going? How's everybody doing? Enjoying their time at home? So, today we're going to break Game of Thrones. And another other deck product, Agents of Shield Compendium. And lastly, we figure what we'll do is do a little basketball, um, optic retail. So the first one we're gonna try to work on is Game of Thrones. All right, now all the stuff that we opened here will be, will eventually be available on sale when we figure it out. In the meantime, let's start with the first box and uh, see how we do this time around. Uh, this is season eight. Uh, yesterday we got a, an inscription auto and a regular base auto. We did not get any of the sketches or anything like that. Hey Leo, how's it going? Now this week just for people's information. Uh, today, I think, is the release of Gypsy Queen. We've been having a fun time uh, trying to get them in store or get them rerouted to another area, but uh, it wasn't here yesterday, nor was it here today. Hey guys, so now we hope to eventually get the Gypsy Queen, and um, I think this Friday, um, National Treasure Football. Hey, how's it going, Spalding? National football will be arriving, as well as the 2020 Leaf Draft Prism. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Um, I know there are already a few people that are interested in there. Do a box of crown. I will pick up a box of crown. I will open a box of crown for you if you want me to break one. Um, but I am thinking about crown because there's some pretty neat stuff over there. Hey, how's it going, Nick? So this is the first pack. Uh, now. From yesterday, Game of Thrones um, is from Rittenhouse is actually not bad. They usually have very good autos, uh, meaning on-car autos. Um, there aren't any redemptions. Uh, this, and the way they've done some of the cards is pretty good for, um, for set builders. Hey, Mochi Cards, how's it going? So I'm going to try to open this a little bit faster. Um, just so that people can see some of the cards and see whether or not they enjoyed this, uh, the Game of Thrones. Now for s season eight, I uh, mean, be a little bit more gentle. I don't want to damage the cards. There we go. For season eight, did any, did everybody watch Game of Thrones? Move the camera back like this before it falls off. Ah, okay. Did that look right, rare? Thanks for the feedback, because I definitely need a lot of help. This is probably the fourth time I'm breaking. And I am, ooh, here's a dual auto. Not bad, not bad at all. Dual auto is usually very popular for Game of Thrones. I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna sleeve that and put it aside. Nick, you never watch an episode? Now you can start with the first one and uh, see if you enjoy it. After the first few, I think, um, you know, you, you may get into it. I would say go through the first two episodes and then you can take your time watching the rest. Now, the only problem is, I don't know if, um, if I would want you to invest a lot of time to see it all the way to season eight um, because personally, I... I think the ending could be a little bit better. Lord of the Rings, definitely. I, uh, I definitely enjoy Lord of the Rings. But when I tried, did, you, did anybody read the book for Lord of the Rings? Because I tried reading it and... Um, oh, season two in one day. True. Yeah, I mean, I think... You could definitely get into Lord of the Rings. 
Uh, they're similar in some ways, but actually, when you're looking at Game of Thrones, it's a bit more intense. Uh, there are a lot of great scenes that you could, you could, uh, you could enjoy. Now, let's see. So there's a lot of pretty cool scenes that they're showing. Oh, I didn't know that you are mental. You're a mental millennial, Nick. But that's good too. Hey, everybody, for joining. So yesterday, one I, will, I actually opened X Files as well, uh, and. Uh, I was able to get a Dana Scully auto, um, which was probably one of the better ones throughout. Yeah, I'm looking for it. I don't think they have a dragon relic. That's the, that's the only unfortunate thing. They have costume relic. Aria not today auto. Hmm, I know they have Aria auto. I'm not sure about the not today. They, they definitely have a lot of different inscriptions. And hopefully we could get one of the inscriptions in a little bit. Did anybody, does anybody collect uh, Game of Thrones here or did any uh, inflections? This set also does have some special inserts of, oh, now that's a pretty good one, Ingrid. This is Rose Leslie. Um, she actually, this is actually a very good auto. And the fact that she also, this is considered inscription, I guess, because she not only signed um, her name, and she also wrote her character's name. Um, she, the death scene is actually quite nice. I would definitely recommend watching Game of Thrones, um, but I'm not sure. Of, like again, I'm not sure about uh, watching it to season eight. True. The autos in general, I think Ingrid right now, um, I could double check, but I believe Ingrid is generally in the 30, 40 range. Um, and then typically the dual autos. Oh, that's true. Uh, inscription definitely gives it a little bit more. 2017, 2018 Spider-Man, Ultra, and as well as Ultra X-Man. Um, I think we only have in store Amazing Spider-Man, not Ultra Spider-Man, and we're all out of Ultra X-Man. Those are some pretty good stuff. With that said, though, um, my plan is tomorrow, hopefully either morning break or afternoon break, um, I may try one of the Upper Deck Premier um, Marvel, which is act it's actually a very pretty, pretty cool product with awesome sketches. Um, and the values from some of the cards in there are phenomenal. Um, I think we got the two autos. Um, now the the other hits are are like inscribed or uh, um, cut auto or costume cards. Sorry about that. I'm having a tough time opening these. It seems like they don't want to open as easily. Next time, I think I'm going to use uh, scissors. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the products have been pushed back. Uh, whether it's Upper Deck, um, Tops, um, and Panini. Uh, so NT maybe is maybe pushed farther back. So um, we'll have to see. I think uh, right now, because there are a lot of changes going on, it depends on whether or not delivery is, uh, how easy the delivery is. Bowman has not been pushed back yet. I have not seen that. Uh, but you never know because uh, I think it's just a matter of time before some of the products get pushed back. Uh, now, as opposed to the autos from the boxes, um, yes, we will have that. Or, you know, some, we're trying to work on whether or not for there was a question on whether or not we, we're going to be selling the autos. Um, we'll probably pop them online because um, we're in the process of working on our retail website so that we could have some of the stuff out, out there, uh, boxes and everything else. 
and um, hopefully we'll get that out to pe people, including the autos. We'll list some singles and, and all that and so forth. And uh, hey, what is this? I don't know. I have not seen this before. It looks it's a special insert, but it doesn't seem to be a sketch. I'll put it aside just in case. Now, here's the last pack. Yep, it's going to be on the website. Uh, it will be on monacycomics.com or it'll be um, Monacy NYC. Now, this feels a little bit special here because I actually could feel the uh, plastic. Did, did you guys also see the plastic here? Now, let's see what's in there. All right. Oh, this looks like it's a metal. Let's see who it is. Oh, it looks like, man, it seemed to be, it could be Daenerys. Yes. Now this is a nice looking card. Now, this doesn't look like it's season eight, but I'm certainly not complaining. Um, it's a special metal plate FX card. It's an awesome looking card. Cool. Now, that is box one from Game of Thrones. We are now going to move to Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Compendium. Now, I watched the first couple of seasons of that. Um, it's, it's okay. Uh, but I heard that it got better and better and better and later on. So, we're going to take a look at that and also... I was told that the box is pretty good. Hello. Now, let's try this Agents of Shield. Uh, did any does anybody watch Agents of Sea Shield and could help with the story arc a little bit more since this is a compendium? I guess not, but we'll give it a try. There's some pretty neat cards in here. So. Now, this is how we're able to spend some time practicing opening packs so that when we do, uh, when we finally get used, get started on live breaks, um, we will be able to uh, hopefully do a better job. And, you know, any feedback is welcome. Hmm. Okay. So pretty cool puzzle back cards in the, in the back. I'm sure this is this would be great for set building. Now, keep in mind the last box is gonna be optic basketball. Hmm, I think I keep on just showing the back. Agents of Shield. Now, I wonder how or if they're going to do anything with Marvel relating to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, for the movie. Ooh, here we have a cool auto. Parmendir Nagra. I think she was also in some of the older TV shows. But pretty cool auto. There we go. Now we're getting the right, right order. Now, are there any shows that I, I do wonder in terms of the show wise, it was actually pretty neat in the beginning. I mean, no, I definitely wanted to give it a try because it was off of the Avengers and it seems like it has great story. And I heard that it got better and better and better. Um, so during this period, hey, maybe, uh, we could, uh, you could binge watch some of these shows again. Um, there seems to be, have a lot of puzzles, insert sets, and specialty cards associated with uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, some pretty... And the reference sometimes 
I remember there are some uh, special guest guest appearance and for this. So let's see how some of the cards are. So what we'll also be doing for these, as I mentioned yesterday, we will also build a set of this and then put it online um, for, for those who are into the sets. Um, but I believe with Upper Deck, some of the sets are pretty large, especially, but the base set would always be there. It's just the special parallel um, making it a master set. So, well, I guess there are two autographs in a box. And here's one more. It's certainly an interesting break in terms of what you can get out of it. And one of the things that we all might also do is, if we have some of the base sets from the boxes, if people want to uh, try it and enjoy it, we may send out some of these sets to help people. If we weren't able to build the set, we will help you fill it up. Now, that is the end of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, so far we've opened two non-sports boxes. Um, highlights for Agents of the S.H.I.E.L.D. are Natalia, Cordova Buckley Auto, and Parmendia Nagra Auto. Now, not sure about their value. Um, the other one are, is the Game of Thrones, which we have Rose Leslie Auto with the inscription, Ingrid, her character name, and Dual Auto of Paolo Asbeck and Mark Weissman. Both pretty cool, but the one that I think people truly, that I was surprised by and was really cool, and this is probably from season one, well actually, either end of season one or season two, which is the, the metal plate. Now, we are ready to open the box of Optic. I'm gonna, and this is retail, so there aren't any autographs, um, guarantees. So what we're hoping for is to get some decent packs and decent players. What I figure without the NBA season, well, for now, it's suspended. Let's see what we can get out of Optic. There we go. Pack number one. So, we have Ken Besmore, Eric Bledsoe. Ooh, a purple refractor already. Hmm, doesn't look like it's a rookie. My guess is, you know, it looks exactly like Eric Bledsoe. Wow, what a guess. Sort of like purplish blue. Pack number two, Jamal Murray, Malik Monk, Rockets, yeah, Hakeem Elijah one, hey, look at that, and a rook rated rookie of Nicholas Claxton. Ah, do you want any jaw color? I will definitely take a look at that. You're collecting jaw, Spalding? Let's see, Rookie Rovio, that's already it. Then we have Chris Middleton, oh, another blue. Let's take a look. FR, that's not Ja, it's not a Raider rookie, Toronto. I recognize that name. Fred Van Fleet. All right, so far the retail is not looking that good, but you never know. That looks like it's a Raider rookie at the bottom. Let's see. 
we have Al Horford, JJ Redick, and an insert of Kyle Lowry. Well, that's a second Toronto. Now let's look at the rated rookie. Hmm. Oh, really? Wow. Eric Peshka, not bad. There you go. Goran Lou Williams. Insert is Giannis. All right. Too bad. I mean, I think he was... I was looking forward to him playing in the, in the playoffs, but I think it's going to be Memphis, but it's not a rated rookie, so Dylan Brooks. Now, what do you think people NBA is going to do? Is it going to go straight to a playoff format or... A, it's going to be a, um, they're going to still finish out the season. We have Clint Capella. Kobe White, blue, not bad. Jaron Jackson. Oh, this is number out of 85, 13 out of 85, Kobe White. Ah, well, there isn't a zero out of 85, so not bad. All right, another... Bluish, I call it bluish purple. D E, yeah, DeAndre Ayton. He had injured, came back, played well, and got injured again. Bradley Beal. All right, still looking for nice silver here. Yeah, I mean June is. Um, It'll be nice. We'll see what uh, when when it's gonna happen. This is a silver. Ooh. Now this size says Rockets. Eh. Oh well. Hey, Clint Capella again. But I don't think he's at the Rockets anymore. And Kyle Guy. Well, if they start in June, yeah, I think it really depends on whether or not they're gonna have the season. Ah, there's a Steph Curry. Gary Harris and another silver. Now this doesn't look like it's a Raider rookie. So, Thon Maker? Nope. Thomas Bryant. Sounds exciting. And Jordan Poole. All right. Aaron Gordon. Jason Tatum. He's having a great year. Um, I, we definitely picked up a lot of his uh, uh, prison cases. I mean, not prism cases, but boxes of prism. Hey, here's LeBron. He's also having a great year. I think a lot of people are bummed about this. All right, I'm looking for the checkerboard. Okay. Checkerboard. Would it be this one? Let's see. Uh, not yet. Nikolai Jozic. Well, I guess he'll be back by the time uh, season continues. Uh, my house, Joel, MB. This is Seku. Pretty good. We have about one, two, three. We probably have about 10 packs left. All right, I will speed this up. Joe Ingo and hmm, LeBron, Jamal Murray. Okay. Fantasia. No checkerboard. Any low numbers? Rookie, rookie. Joe Engel. Hmm. Which one do you think? So it's the checkerboard Zion or is Enos Cantor? Okay. Ibeka and Trey Young. That sounds okay. Good players. Good players. Just uh Well, so Clint definitely get to read, uh, check out Atlanta's playbook. Um, being traded to another silver. Kobe White. Oh, that's the second parallel Kobe White. Lou Williams. And Dario Sarkin. All righty. Let's see. We have about five packs left. 
so far, this box could be a little bit better, but we will see. Oh, another purple. This is probably low number. Hmm, doesn't look like Zion. This looks like Jason Tatum. Oh, really? Okay, so I will look for a Zion rookie because, ooh, this is a rated rookie. Hmm, the color doesn't seem to fit any one of them. Right now, we don't have any plans. Oh, okay. Pretty good. Love the no-name card, especially if it's a silver. And kids, oh, cool. Now, as for Yu-Gi-Oh, right now, we don't have any plans to do Yu-Gi-Oh yet. Perhaps soon. All right, let's see. See if it's number out of 75. Nope. Yes, none. I for, you know... None escapes me in terms of his name, but let's go. Well, there's one, Mikael Bridges. Let's see if we could get another silver. Huh, Chris Paul, I guess. Oh, wow, nice, nice foil. Just uh, another one. Hmm, Ken. Yeah, I thought it may be Ken Bismore. Wasn't too sure. Well, at least hoping that we could be... Still pretty good. Oh, none comes well? Cool. I'll see how, uh, what's the condition. Uh, well, there you go. You see Matisse just here as a rookie. I guess uh, we have three packs three packs left to see whether or not it's uh, Ja and um, Zion will be in this, in this box. All righty. There we go. Giannis, followed by Draymond Green. Oh. Kevin, I am in quarantine. Is He should be out soon, right? Huh. Carson Edwards? Oh, Taco Falls. Okay, cool. I was guessing uh, for Boston Celtics, it's been Carson Edwards, because that's what I see a lot of people have been opening well. Okay, another purple, or purplish blue. Mitch Richmond, no, Mitch Robin, Mitchell Robinson. Rated rookie, all right, cool. Hmm, that does not look like anyone I recognize. Dylan Windler, okay. All right, last pack. Let's see, Bra Bogdan Bogdanovich, Nikolai. All right, this is a Raider rookie. This pose I remember because I see a lot of guys open and get this. This is R.J. Barrett. Cool, not bad. So some of the highlights in here are R.J. And I would say... The non silver. So, not bad. Pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, tomorrow we will be breaking. I'm not sure which boxes yet, but we'll give it a. We'll 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 pick we we'll pick a couple of them before we start. It'll be around three o'clock again, or maybe we'll do one early in the day at around eleven. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys.